Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing looking all-in-one architectural presentation view using Revit alone. So as architects we usually talk about having the A3D view because it feeds you with the most amount of information but we also learned to think in floor plans, elevations, sections, etc. So this will be kind of a cool looking way to create one view, one architectural presentation that contains both the 3D and all the necessary 2D views which are which will be the floor plan and a couple of sections. So it's quite an amazing way to feed the audience with the most amount of information just in a single view. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. So I'm going to be using this modern micro house I modeled in Revit in for one of the earlier tutorials. You can see it in the description. I have the link to this tutorial. But I'm going to be using this to create this cool looking presentation piece. So here I have this 3D view and now if I go here to the project browser you can see I've created a floor plan and I've added some dimensions because just by adding dimensions everything looks a bit more complex and here for this uh, detail level I'm just going to set it at fine so we can have just the most amount of information from these plans. So I've got a couple of these sections so I'm just going to open up this section and this looks quite cool so I'm just going to minimize this a bit. Now this is one view and again I've added some dimensions over here just to make everything look nicer and here I'm just going to set this to fine so we have a bit more layers and everything looks a bit better and I've got another section and we're going to do the same thing here just put the detail level to fine just to have a bit more detail and make look make everything look more professional and here when I set everything up, here you can see we have this kind of a boundary line or crop region and here if you uncheck this you can kind of make it disappear. So it's cropping the view so the view isn't too large but you don't see it. So when we export it to AutoCAD to create our views you won't see that square because it's ugly and unnecessary. So I'm going to do the same thing in this section over here. So I'm just going to go here to properties, find crop view visible and you just make that rectangle disappear. And I'm going to go to level 1 and as you can see level 1 contains these here views which we don't really need right now. So I can again go here to perhaps crop view and crop view visible and I can make everything look smaller and just contain the necessary parts for this floor plan. Okay, so once I've done that, again, I can uncheck this so we don't see it, but our view is cropped and we don't have that large view with elevations. So once you've done this, you need to export these views that you're going to use. So let's export this floor plan and I'm just going to go to Revit, here start menu, go export, CAD formats, DWG, go just here next, and here just find desktop and name it let's just name it floor plan and hit OK. So I'm just going to go to this short section and I'm just going to name it short so go here export CAD formats DWG next call it short hit OK now let's do the long one again go start menu export CAD formats DWG next let's call it long and hit OK so once this is finished we need to add something, some more views to this. So I'm just going to go to one of the elevations, let's go to south elevation and let's create another level. So just type double L for level and I'm just going to place one level over here. And I'm going to select it and for this here name I'm going to name it floor plan. So when we create our exploded 3D view we can have our floor plan drop to the floor plan level so to speak and if this doesn't make sense now don't worry it will make in a bit and for the elevation I'm just going to go with minus 8 meters because I think that will be just okay then I'm going to go here to level 1 and okay this is a ceiling plan let's go here to 
level one regular and I'm just going to uncheck this crop view so we can see these things and now let's create some grids so just type in gr for grid and I'm going to place one grid like this over here vertically and one horizontal grid over here and for the distance away from the building I'm just going to use eight meters as well as I did in the floor plan and same thing here eight meters yeah that looks about right so we have grid one and this let's just name this one short and let's name this one long now let's create kind of a rectangular floor plan to have kind of this square cube looking structure that we have in this final presentation view so I'm just going to go here to floor and for the level I'm going to select this floor plan level and I'm going to choose this 100 millimeter generic default floor and here I'm going to use this rectangle tool and create an offset of 8 meters so I'm just going to select over here and create an 8 meter offset and if it doesn't align all that well just use the align tool to kinda align everything in place so once this is finished you can't see it because of visible uh, view range so just type in VR for view range and change this view depth to unlimited go OK and now you can see this bottom floor plan now let's create some walls over here so I'm just going to go with WA for wall and let's choose just a generic 200 wall go into edit type duplicate it and let's just call this a hundred millimeter wall okay this is in use so let's duplicate it let's call it new hundred millimeter or new hundred okay let's go into edit type and for this I'm going to delete this layer so I'm just going to keep one layer and I'm going to choose default material for that layer and for the depth, for the thickness, I'm just going to go with 10 centimeters or 0.1 meters. Just type in OK, OK, and let's create this basic wall like so. And then just by using the align tools, I'm going to align it like this over here, over here as well, and here as well. Now if we, if we go into 3D, you get something that looks like this. So I'm just going to select these two walls and then for the base constraint I'm going to go from floor plan so it starts from here and for the top constraint I'm going to go up to level 3 that's this top level but I'm going to give it an offset of 8 meters so just type in here 8 so it's kind of the same distance and now if we go here you can see it kind of looks proportional and just looks all right okay so once this is finished we need to add our floor plan and the couple of sections that we have so just go into level one and here we need to add our floor plan so just go here to insert link CAD or import CAD for this I'm going to choose import CAD so you find your floor plan for colors I suggest you use black and white and for units now usually Revit for some unknown reason converts units from meters to millimeters when I load them when I export from Revit to AutoCAD so here you just need to choose millimeters and leave it at origin to origin you go finish and now it's loaded in even if you can't see it don't worry it's there so now I'm going to go here to this elevation this happens to be let's see north elevation okay so let's add our long view so again go import CAD long black and white millimeter origin to origin place so it's opened up over here so you need to kind of unpin it and just use the move command or MV is the shortcut select it here and just move it up over here now let's go back into our floor plan level one and let's choose this short view so this is our short elevation and go here to import CAD choose short black and white millimeter open it up again select it unpin it MV is the shortcut for move and move it all the way up here so now if we go into 3d it kind of looks like this it looks like a mess but don't worry and first I'll, I don't like this 
kind of gray ugly material that's because this is all default material so I'm going to change that by going to manage find material find default material go to appearance and here this color I'm going to change it to something a bit lighter something like that let's choose this type in OK apply OK yeah that looks a lot better so now kinda let's explode this 3D view now you might be tempted to use the or, or open it up you might be tempted to use the here the section box but if we open up the section box and if we start kinda creating a floor plan you can see it kinda cuts through our walls and that's not really something we want to have so I'm just going to uncheck this section box and I'm going to solve this problem by selecting this element this roof element and go hide elements then select it, this second layer hide elements and the final layer hide elements and now it's finished and we kinda have left this here cool looking design it looks like some structural element so that's that's quite alright so I'm just going to select this here floor plan imported from CAD and I'm going to go here to displace elements and then just orbit a bit and drop it all the way down here so that looks alright so let's choose this one again displace elements pull it towards this wall here make sure it's quite close to the wall and do the same thing for this one here displace elements orbit around a bit and pull it close to the wall now you don't have to be overly precise doesn't really matter and now if I go here to this here click to drag and we open it up and we get something that looks like this now this is just an amazing view and let's add some lines some of these path lines so you, you can see kind of so we can kind of connect this 3d to our sections and our floor plan so you just select one of these displaced elements and you go to path and you kind of try to find these ends of the lines so you kind of place one there one here one here so that looks all right so let's do the same thing here for the floor plan go to path let's try to select one of these okay that looks all right let's choose this one now let's do this one as well okay so that looks all right now let's do the final one go path and let's select I don't know this thing this thing here and here as well okay so this this looks quite all right now you can turn on the shadows but as you can see it doesn't really look right so I prefer to leave the shadows off and also it might look too dark so what I like to do is I like, like to open up this graphic display options go to lighting and just crank everything up and drop the shadows to something a bit darker okay this is perhaps too much go apply okay let's drop this down and drop the shadows down yeah you kinda wanna play around with this till you get something you you like okay but anyway this is how you get this amazing looking presentation view in Revit it's an all-in-one view you get your floor plan you get your sections and you get your 3d in just one view okay that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day